This reserves the gentlewoman from Connecticut is recognized. I just may say to, to my colleague uh, that, in fact, Abbott Nutrition, one would suspect from listening to uh, our colleague that Abbott Nutrition was ready to uh, uh, really move forward and to deal with reopening. The fact of the matter is that the Food and Drug Administration, and I have said that the Food and Drug Administration dragged their feet by not looking at what they were doing in October, etc. But the FDA had to go to court. They had to go to court to get an agreement with Abbott about how to open. This wasn't a company that was taking on their culpability in knowingly selling a contaminated product that puts our babies at risk. Going to court, that is, took a part of the delay with moving, is having to have to go to court to do this. And with that, I would like to yield three minutes to the gentleman from New Jersey, the chair of the Committee on Energy and Commerce. And Congressman Pallone has, again, spent so much of his professional career focused on food safety issues. And in fact, as is the Ag Subcommittee doing hearings, the Energy and Commerce Committee will be doing hearings on this issue as well. Congressman Pallone. The gentleman from New Jersey.